Power and Limitations of the U.S. Judicial Branch The judicial branch is one of the constituent elements of the federal government of the United States. This branch is constitutionally mandated to interpret the law, not only for the other two arms of government but also for the citizens of the United States. This, by default, gives the judiciary the power to settle disputes among citizens. For example, when two Americans quarrel about land in the United States, one of the amicable solutions available to them is taking the dispute to a federal court. The judiciary also has the power to punish perpetrators of the law. For example, when armed robbers are arrested by the police, it is the obligation of the judiciary to decide the right punishment that fits the crime. Such measures could range from community service to a life sentence, depending on the crime committed. In addition to this, the judiciary has the power to hear civil cases. The Constitution of the United States gives the judiciary the power to protect the rights of individual Americans as provided in the Constitution. For example, the Constitution grants the right to life for every American citizen. Furthermore, it gives the judicial branch the power to check the excesses of the other branches of the federal government, namely the legislature and the executive. However, the judicial branch has several limitations that make it less powerful. First, it lacks the power to duly shield its professionals. For example, judges and justices are not entitled to appropriate protection from being impeached by Congress. Furthermore, the inability to control the process of hiring justices and judges is another weak point. The Congress has full control of hiring the judicial employees. Another limitation of the judicial branch is that despite having the power to punish, it lacks the authority to enforce the decisions made during the ruling. Importantly, the judicial branch exerts more power on at least five policies under the public policy, including criminal justice, education, health, culture, and social welfare. However, it has less influence on government operations. For example, judicial professionals have no say in matters of war on another country. The judicial branch also exerts less impact on foreign affairs policies. These matters are solely handled by the executive and the legislature.